A little while ago, I tweeted about how one of the biggest changes that I'd made recently was whenever I'm saving a piece of information, a note, a resource, I always try to give it a job. And it's the same idea when you're talking about budgeting of giving every dollar a job. So instead of digital hoarding, um, which you may or may not be able to relate to, um, I used to find myself just saving every possible, um, you know, PDF download and any piece of information that I might need to one day reference. And I found myself with, um, you know, Dropbox folders full of incredible resources and an Evernote folder full of incredible resources that I would just never use. So I was always saving saving things just in case. And I really think it makes more sense to save just in time. And um, I learned this concept from Tiago Forte in his Building a Second Brain course, and it's really changed the way I think about what information I'm letting in. So I just wanted to show you how I'm actually doing this in Notion. So I have a couple resource databases in here. Um, notes is, is pretty much everything. It's any notes I'm collecting about nearly anything, anything I might need to reference at some point. Reading and listening is just that. It's anything, any books I'm reading, articles, podcasts, etc. Studies is any active courses that I'm taking. Most of those are online, but they include other ones as well. And I have connections between these three databases using relational databases. But so as I am surfing the internet, as I'm saving articles, um, listening to podcasts, I will clip them and save them into reading and listening. And I'll just jump in there to, to show you what that looks like. And again, you can categorize these and you know show them any which way you want. I've got to read, things I've already read, calendar, favorite, et cetera. Um, so if I just look at the table view, you can kind of see here's just a dump of everything. I try to categorize it as I go. That doesn't always happen. And you can see there's related notes here. So there was this great article. If you're too busy for these five things, your life is probably more messed up than you think. So if I open up this reading and listening uh, database entry, you can see there's the URL of the article. I can see that that was saved to my journal on September 3rd. And there's a related note here. Most people are planting a tree with their lives, not an orchard. And then the article is actually clipped in here. I don't always clip the entire article. Um, I often just kind of use it as a reference for the URL. Um, but what I, I'm trying to do is be more intentional. Like, what? why am I actually um, saving this article? What do I want to know about it? And um, the reason I wanted to save it was um, I really enjoyed some of these very specific insights from that. So I actually created a note from that reading. So I can click in here. So now I'm in the notes database and here's the note that I saved from it. I give it an area. Um, I have a number of areas here. These are areas that I'm concerned with or things that I'm thinking about. These are often sort of changing and evolving, but they tend to fall into one of the categories here. You might have different ones. You know, you might have habit tracking or, um, you know, volunteer work or what have you. Um, I like to record the source. So who said that? Um, I give it a type of quote. And again, I have templates for all of these as well. So when I'm saving something as a quote, it um, automatically saves this little icon here. And you can see that the relational database, it's connected back again to that reading and listening. So there's a relation between those two databases so I can jump back and forth. Um, as I read it, I give it a summary. So here's that summary. I can also double click and highlight parts of this as well. We can ensure we get what we want in life by organizing ourselves. And for example, I can just make that bold or, um, you know, give it a yellow background, whatever. So I often will go through as I'm reading and I'm trying to um, do what Tiago Forte calls uh, progressive summarization. So you're, you're creating an initial summary of the thing that you're reading and then you're summarizing that note and then summarizing that again to get to the point where you have this like really core summary and takeaway. So instead of just reading and storing and, and kind of, you know, uh, checking off a box about whether or not I read something, I don't really care as much, you know, did I read something or not? You know, I want a nice, easy way to see at the end of the year, like what were all of those insights that were surfaced from those books that I read. So I, I feel like that's a bit more of an intentional way of consuming information. So it's a habit that I've tried to get into. If I go back to just the notes, um, the notes one is definitely the one where I'm a little bit more active in terms of what I'm saving. 
So you can see a lot of these have summaries or, you know, things bolded, how to work harder, not smarter, and, you know, summarize that and give it a category, productivity, performance. Um, sometimes I'll connect it to a person as well, and I can jump in and, and look at their profile. Uh, learn how to egghead like a pro. Uh, Joel at Egghead had a really great uh, post about how to, um, uh, guidelines for being a great instructor. And I thought that was a really great reference because if I'm um, going to be putting some of my own instructional materials together for my own work, I thought this was just a really great reference. So experience teaching. And then again, I can always uh, filter this and only show things that are related to a certain area. Like let's say I only want to see things that are related to sales and marketing. I can refine that, see that really, really easily. And um, this is just kind of a new a new habit where I'm trying to be really mindful and intentional of what information and am, am I letting in and what are the areas of my life I really care about and that I'm paying attention to and I want to focus on and does that fit in that area and if not uh, maybe now is not the right time to be storing that information maybe um, you know I don't really need to save it and I'm just trying to be really specific about that. And I think it's worth thinking about what are the areas of your life that you want to spend time curating and getting better at? Because, you know, we can't get better at everything all the time. We can't do all the things. And so what are the things that right now I really want to focus on? So this is one way that I'm sort of rethinking how I consume information, giving each thing that I do consume a job, whether it's um, saving it into a note giving it a, almost a bit of an assignment or even a project. Um, sometimes I don't necessarily know what the project is, but I know the areas that I want to focus on. So over time, yeah, let's say I want to write a book, right? Um, there's probably some threads of connection in these notes that I'm saving, whether it's best self, you know, offer sales and marketing, whatever. There's going to be some themes that are going to emerge, um, even if I don't know what that project is. So it's about being intentional, giving it a job, even if you don't know what that job is, and just assigning it to different parts of your life so that you can be much more suited to curate that information and do something with it when you need it. So I'm always trying to elevate my notes toward action, even if I don't know what that action is yet. So that's um, that's been a big change that I've, that I've made that I think has really helped in the way that I think about um, how much information I'm consuming, what I'm consuming, what I'm paying attention to. So I do the same thing with um, studies as well. So I track, you know, what am I learning? And I make notes inside each of these while I'm in the midst of taking a course. So I'm trying not to just take the course and um, let it get forgotten because there is that that gap where you know we, we lose a lot of what we learned about something very very quickly right afterwards and so if i'm not summarizing it and being really intentional and taking the notes as i go it's going to get lost and so i'm i'm really making it a habit to as i'm taking courses to still digest make those notes and connect those notes um in a in a day-to-day -day basis so you know sometimes as i'm taking a course i might um add a note and a reminder to revisit that note in a month from now. And so as I go and, and uh, next month comes along, I'll actually see that little uh, reminder get surfaced. I'm like, oh, right. I, I told, you know, my past self told my future self, this is something that you want to uh, take another look at. And so it's, it's a way of just, again, being really intentional with all the information that is coming in and um, just being smarter about, uh, how you collect information and how you spend your time and what you consume. I hope that makes sense. And uh, again, these databases are also connected to my journal and my weekly agenda. So if uh, in my weekly agenda, I want to quickly reference certain notes and things that I'm studying, I can connect those in one click and everything is just very, very easy to, to find and nothing gets kind of stored in the abyss the way it was with Evernote. So I find Notion just allows me to surface those insights a lot more easily and I can just be much more effective and be keeping those ideas top of mind. So I hope that's helpful and hopefully you get inspired to set up your own um, master resource databases and um, that you get a little bit more intentional about how you are collecting digital information.